Unfortunately, he has some problem in the first week of February. All the blood cell lines, my uh, colleague Dr. Anil told, there are three cell lines are there. One is the red blood cells, second the, oh, in the cancer as well and non-cancerous as well. So here, the problem was in the non-cancerous thing, that was the aplastic anemia. Aplastic anemia means the blood producing stem cells, hematopoietic stem cells in the bone marrow, they decrease significantly. The number should be at this age, should be around 50-60% and they drops to less than 10%. So there is no factory which produces the, these three cells, leads to the, all the three cell lines low. Now before transplant, this child was requiring the blood transfusions every third, fourth day. Every third, fourth day blood transfusions, platelets as well as the red blood transfusion, maybe another seven days like that. And he was having some episodes of the fever. And when we did the bone marrow, we confirmed this diagnosis of a plastic anemia. Now family also worried, schools no, not going. Suddenly drops in the all counts requiring the transfusions, what happened? So to look why this aplastic anemia has happened, we do certain tests, genetic tests, it can be genetic also. We do the certain genetic test which was negative. It means this is not a genetic disease, it, aplastic anemia is having acquired during the this 9-10 years or maybe recently. So that is known as acquired aplastic anemia without any reason. So treatment, the treatment will be because the problem is that hematopoietic stem cells. So we have to take somebody else healthy stem cells so that we can increase the stem cells to 50-60% and they can produce the increased number. And that only option, best option in this age group is the blood bone marrow transplant. So what is meaning of blood bone marrow transplant? We take the stem cells either from the blood or from the bone marrow. And that for the, to give the blood bone marrow, we need the donor. And that donor should be HLA match donor. Like my colleague Anil told that HLA match donor, HLA is just like blood group. Blood group is a protein, antigen, HLA is also a protein or antigen. So we need the HLA matched donor and the HLA matched donors because of genetic law, the maximum possibility to get the genetic donor, HLA matched donor is from the siblings. So he was having one, he's having one sister, elder sister. We tried to match that but unfortunately there was no match. Maybe half match. We can do the half match transplant, haploidentical transplant in the cancerous or certain non-cancerous condition, but in the aplastic anemia, still it is in a, in a trial phase, it is in an experimental phase. So what we have to do in this condition to give the life to the child, we have to do the full matched blood or bone marrow transplant. There is no match with the sister, so we go on to the other, other search. There are the voluntary donor registries are there all over the world. And in that registry is almost 25 millions. You don't believe there is a 25 millions donors are there. 2.5 crores donors who are willing to give their stem cells if suppose some match is there. So we try to contact them. There are some couple of match was there. But meanwhile we search the HLA match with the father and mother. Sometimes we can get. And fortunately just maybe luck of the, this child there are full match with the father and he is the father who was having 10 by 10 HLA match which is very rare. I have seen in my life this is a second case somebody is getting the HLA match with the father or mother. Just because of genetic changes some happens when the cell divides so he got the HLA match with the father. Now when the things are there father is nearby we can take an stem cells so we admitted this child on 15th of the March. 15th of March this child was admitted for the blood and bone marrow transplant. He is a diabetic. You don't believe he is a diabetic. Father is a diabetic but he's, he gave his stem cells. We, we test the donor how he is fit enough, his sugar is controlled or not. We take so that but he was in position to give the stem cells. We, so we should understand what it is not a surgical procedure. Now if it is a medical procedure, so how it is being done? It is very important question I think we should know. So during this once we admitted the child, one important thing is we have to give the stem cells. And this is a very simple concept what we see, you know, I think cultivation, everybody does the farming. Yeah, or maybe they are related with the farmer's family. So what the farmer does is it gives the seeds, it, it puts the seeds into the soil. So before putting the seeds, he has to prepare that soil. And that preparing the soils is by maybe the irrigations or the tractor or whatever things he is doing. So like similar thing what we have to do, the, the aim of this preparation is that the seeds what the farmer is putting, they should not fail, they should start to grow properly. So that is known as preparation of the field. 
like this we have to prepare the child by giving certain medicines some some drugs some immunosuppressive drugs so that he can accept very well the donor stem cells so that we gave for around 8 days and on 27th of march that was the monday we took the father stem cells from the blood even the best to take is the in this condition aplastic anemia is best to take from the bone marrow because he was diabetic and he started to have some uh, some small pain so we took from the blood and the blood the stem cells adequate number of stem cells came just collection is the very simple i think i just mentioned the collection of the stem cell is just like platelets collections right just machine has to we have to change the settings the machine itself will collect the stem cells instead of the platelets or the red blood so we collected the stem cells and the same day we transfused to the so with through a line there is a line is there central line is there through which we have to take the blood sample and all the thing because daily blood sampling is required we have to give some medications so we have put it to a central line which is, which can be for a long if requires is still there because we we have to follow we have to take the blood sample so through that blood line only we transfuse the blood so it is just the stem cells we transfuse and the transfusion of stem cells took around 30 minutes or 20 minutes only 100 150 ml or 200 ml of the volume and we transfuse in 30 to 40 minutes so it's the day 27th of march we transfuse and after transfusion i think the like farmer he has to put the water he has to put the fertilizers lot of things are there he has to take care their field like that we have to monitor we have to give the some support we gave him support of platelets we gave some red blood and transfusions he developed fever for couple of days so we gave him the antibiotics and antifungal drugs also and we keep in a very sterile environment in during this phase of transplant he become just like a newborn baby you know the small newborn baby how much we care that baby so like that he becomes in that period and we should thank that family and both the child that they remains in that room for around 2 3 weeks but the beauty is there with american oncology we have small kids play area in the transplant room area itself school ko gaya tha school school mein ek din chakkar aane laga uda phone kiye phone kiye to mummy ghar le gaya blood test kiye ब्लड टेस्ट किए तो हीमोग्लोबिन कम आया फिर हैदराबाद गए हैदराबाद में नवोदया हॉस्पिटल था वहाँ पर गए वहाँ बोले बोन मेरा ट्रांसप्लांट है वो डॉक्टर अच्छे नहीं थे बिल्कुल भी और वो और हम बेंगलुरु गए और इनसे मिले ये 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 बताए क्या क्या है डिजीज जिसके लिए ट्रांसप्लांट किया उसको एक देखने का सो देर चांसेस ऑफ अगेन रिलैप्स दैट इज फेल्यूर ऑफ द स्टेम सेल्स कैन हैपन सो दैट वीकनेस समथिंग हैपन विच इज very less but the important thing what is there too one is the gvsd graft versus host disease so the graft versus host disease mainly mainly attacks three organs like the intestine stomach so somebody can have persistent nausea vomiting and loose motion so these things in happens what i'm going to talk there is a one particular doctor who is taking he has suffered with the you know congenital nephrotic syndromes he has come off this is second disease he is suffering the nephrotic syndrome at the age of 4 years where the kidney affects so he has been a survivor of this is a second disease he is a survivor of nephrotic syndrome as well so there is a doctor who knows him so i am going to send to him and whenever these having these symptoms so he can start some of the medication immediately so one thing he has to take care is of the loose stools vomiting third important point is the fever